Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, this is Miss Rara, your English tutor. Support me, subscribe my channel, like my video. You can also leave your comments below. Thank you for being very supportive. I'm trying to update my video every once in a week now. As I'd like to introduce children to great scientists, scholars, and adventurers from the golden age of Islam. Their knowledge and discoveries are still used today in our daily lives. Everyone should know about these great Muslims. This week's story, I'm going to read you a book, Muslim Scientists, Ibn al-Haytham, The Father of Optics, published and copyrighted by Alligator Productions. Ibn Haytham was the first person to explain to the world how the eye see things. There is even an asteroid named after him, He is known throughout the world as the father of optics. Are you ready now? Let's read with me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ibn al-Haytham was born in Basra, Iraqi in the year 965. Yet many people call him by his Latin name, Al-Hazan. As a young man, Ibn al-Haytham loved mathematics and all things to do with science. It was his dream to become a great scientist and to discover new things. Ibn al-Haytham loved to spend hours studying chemistry and testing new formulas. But what he really loved was mathematics. In Egypt, there was always a problem with the Nile River flooding and causing problem for the people in Cairo. Ibn al-Haytham was known in the whole Muslim world to have a great knowledge of mathematics. So one day, he was invited to go to Egypt to help fix the problem. Ibn al-Haytham was always curious about the eyes and sight. He dedicated his life to studying light and was the first person to explain how the eyes see things. He discovered that light bounces on an object and then is directed into your eyes. Using his theory on light, Ibn al-Haytham then invented the camera obscura, which is the early form of the modern camera. Throughout his life, Ibn al-Haytham did a lot of research and wrote many scientific works. His most famous book was Kitab al-Manazir, the book of optics, where he explains about vision and light. Ibn al-Haytham dedicated his life to the study of the process of light, the structure of the eye, and the way the eye creates images. He was given the title, the father of optics. Many scientists still use Ibn al-Haytham's works today as guidance in the field of optics. The year 2015 was named the International Year of Light celebrating the 1,000th anniversary of Ibn al-Haytham's study of optics. There is even a crater on the moon and an asteroid named after Ibn al-Haytham. There are many modern instruments that use optical rules based on Ibn al-Haytham's discoveries. Can you name some of them? Eyeglasses Magnifying glass Chamber Obscura Camera Obscura Microscope Telescope Projector Light Refraction and Dispersion Allah tells us in the Quran that it is He alone who has given us the blessings of hearing and seeing. And it is He who produced for you hearing and vision. Quran Surah 23 Al Mu'minun, The Believers, verse 78. The story of Ibn al Haytham, the father of optics. Get the book online at www.aligator.com. Do you like Muslim scientists' books? 
Insha'Allah, I will see you again next week. I'm going to read you another book from another great Muslim scientist. Let's inspire our children to be the next generation of thinkers, to better mankind through inventions and discoveries. This is your English tutor reading. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.